Hi, Scorpio. It's L here to do your March 2019 general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Scorpio who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, pardon my my hiatus, but uh, this you know part of the year I'm very busy um, yeah so I'm back now well sort of anyway let's get started okay. let's see what's going on for Scorpio Scorpio wants someone back, somebody you did wrong, somebody you took for granted, someone you have a family with, or vice versa. Okay? Let's see what's going on for Scorpio. We're going to do a storybook. Okay. Yeah, so there's a choice that needs to be made. Particularly, it's a choice in love. Uh, a choice of partners. Could be surrounding a Gemini. You have to make the ultimate choice. On the surface, you've made the choice, but then there's something that crops up from the past. Maybe someone else you dealt with. Maybe a lover from the past. Um, there's interference within this choice. Yeah, someone you have children with. So you, so you have to make a choice in regards to the past showing back up. You have to make a choice in regards to, or someone else has to make a choice in regards to you. They have children with you, but they have you on the outs. Or you have children with someone else, but then you want to be with someone else. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. Uh, Someone gives you some fast and hard truth. Someone that you're in separation with. Could be an Aquarius person. It says whatever you're doing, you're on the right path here in regards to this separation. You may be going to them and giving your truth. Uh, this is a bit of confrontation also. Um, definitely... This could be a single person, newly single person. This is someone you, or this is you. This is someone you have children with. You're in separation from. You want them back. Or vice versa. They want you back. Um, it looks like you've laid down the past. Or you want to lay down the burden that is the past. You are indebted to, energetically, to a lot of different people. Eight of Cups. You're walking away from it and walking toward the woman holding the money, the purse. Uh, giving your cup, offering your emotional stability to, yeah, uh, could possibly be a Gemini, Aries, or, or, or an Aquarius. Or wanting to offer your cup to this person. Um, You walked away from some obligation. You have, yeah. You turned your back on some obligation to be with another person. You did make the choice, Scorpio. It may have been founded or you'll find that your choice was it rests in a bit of deception or it rests in the fact that um, you needed stability or you saw an opportunity to have stability to have money the moon yet you're holding back true feelings of how you feel uh, from someone that you're separated from that you are not in contact with that you you pray for reconciliation with the queen of wands um. 
you want the relationship back. For some of my Scorpios, you want a particular relationship back. You're waiting for opportunity to... Jump back into going after what you desire. Right. You want to see, you want someone to see that you are choosing them or you want them to choose you. You want them to see that things have changed. You miss them. You love them. You offer messages of love, of fulfillment to a woman who's very spiritual, who does nothing to move this ahead, who you might have had, she, you might have had this person like in, in a third party situation, you had it in a situation where they felt like they had to compete for your affection, where there's always a, a fight to keep your attention. Let's get some clarifying cards on here. King of Wands. Definitely dealing with fire sign. You, so there's uh, opposition. You need to make a decision. There's opposition in, in regards to making this decision. There might be some unexpected money that comes in regards to this king of wands um, yeah an offer offer of money or you may feel like they're dishonest and untrustworthy uh, in which <sighs> but you feel like it's a it's a successful relationship one that you are without so for some of you Scorpios you feel like this is a situation where you want a person back you're doing whatever it is you can do to get them back you feel like it's a successful relationship you are in separation from you want reconciliation even though this may have been where you were in a love affair um uh, Or you have them in a love affair. There was more than just them. Yeah, there was interference. Reversal. Gossip. Hostility. Within your dynamic. What's the advice? What's the advice? What's the advice for Scorpio? Take the next step now. Engage in hobbies, sobriety. Know that you're stronger than you, you feel you are. Family changes, dietary change. Seeking and finding. Keep the faith. Realizations and epiphanies. Give me three cards of closing advice for Scorpio. Eight of Wands, move something forward. The sun, nice. Okay, because God of the universe, whomever, whatever you believe in, is in it, is blessing this positive movement forward. Eight of Wands talk, talks about having the strength to move it forward. Speak of the trouble, the jealousy that was in the relationship. 
that clears the air and moves things forward. Uh, temperance in reverse. Um, come out of wanting things to just happen quickly. Or things may happen quickly. Three of Cups upright and the Fool. Nice. Nine of Pentacles, the bottom of the deck. I think there has to be a level of sincerity in regards to you reconciling and coming back to a person, uh, Scorpio. This person wants to see real change. Um, they want to know that you are ready for partnership, Nine of Pentacles, that um, they are your Tenth Pentacle, the Ten of Pentacles, um, and then you guys can embark on the next phase of life together uh, it looks like it could it could work out for you Scorpio you have to be sincere in, in your in your communication in your words and you're reconciling with this person realizations and epiphanies here for you okay all right Scorpio if you feel like this resonated with you for you um Go ahead and click that like button. Um, get a yes or no answer to your question. Uh, you can go ahead and book that yes or no reading. It's $5. I'm not doing extended readings this month. Uh, but you can get um, a specific question to your answer. To your a specific answer to your question, right? Um, the link is below. Thank you once again. Um, know that I'm praying for you, Scorpio. Pray for me as well. Take care.